Hello everybody, this is Tom from uh, Slope Polk RV Travels and today I'm going to make some uh, ciabatta bread which I'm going to in turn make a, a chicken parm sandwich. So you can, use, you can make your ciabatta bread like I'm going to try and or you can buy it from like Panera or somewhere but uh, I'll take you through the process of uh, making the bread and then making the sandwich and the sauce. I, um, I made some starter. I used a cup and a third of flour, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and a teaspoon of active yeast, and a cup of water, warm water, and mixed it all together and let it set over four hours. And then now the starter's done, I stirred it up a little bit before I used it. And now we're gonna start the, the dough. I got a two tea, uh, two tablespoons of olive oil here and I got a cup of warm milk and I put some water in it too, four tablespoons of water, put sugar and salt and stir that up and pour that in there. It was warm milk in the water, I warmed it up and uh, get the yeast. This is the dough, the starter. Put that in a bowl. Okay, got the starter in. Now, I got the yeast, so I'm gonna sprinkle that over the top. That was two teaspoons of yeast. And now I'll gradually enter the, the flour. You want to enter it all at once, I'll have a big mess here probably. <laughs> Get that mixed up. All right, I got the dough out of the, the pan. Now I'm gonna knead it with some flour. It, was, it sticks to the bottom, not to the sides. When it's sticking to the bottom, you can take it out and start um, putting flour in with it and kneading it in to get your dough right. And uh, still pretty sticky. A little bit more flour. Don't want real hard dough. Okay. See, it's still a little sticky, but I think it'll be all right. Nice. So now I got a greased uh, bowl here. Get some grease on the bottom. Flip it over. And about 60 minutes it should double or triple and I'll be that back with you with then have a good one okay while the dough is rising I'm gonna make the sauce for the for the chicken parm sandwich I also use this sauce on my um, when I make a steak sandwich which I'll make one day I what I use is Campbell's tomato soup and we'll start with a can of this
and then uh, add pepper. I always get overzealous on the pepper there. And garlic powder. Little onion powder. And some oregano. Not a whole bunch, just enough to give it some flavor. And, uh, let me set that right here. Okay, now I'm going to put a little water in to thin it out. I don't want it real thick. So I'm getting like a nice consistency. Okay, this this should make a nice nice sauce for the for the sandwich and let that simmer now and wait for the the dough to finish rising it's pretty close right now it's almost to the top of the dish so we'll get back with you right. it seems like the dough uh, Double in size. I got my flour down here and uh, roll it out on board here on the table. Um, now I'm going to roll it into like a a square right here. It's supposed to be like a 12 by 12. It says. Like I said, I never made this before. Different recipe, so try to get it equal here. Now, let's use my knife. That might be better. Okay, Okay, I got my uh, pan here with um, parchment paper on it. So I'm just gonna kind of stretch it, roll the edges down a little bit. And the next time I'll see if I have to make it a little thinner. Right now it's about a half inch thick. Okay, now I got these kind of turned down a little bit here, rolled over. Now I'm gonna cover it with a for 60 minutes around 60 minutes and then we'll bake it all right okay i went and set the oven at uh, preheated at 425 and this is the finished product right not finished yet but it's risen for 60 minutes and we're going to put it in the oven for um, about 22 to 25 minutes so here we go There we go. Okay, the ciabatta bread's out. I'm thinking I'm gonna put a little water on it so it softens a little bit. The, it's not too bad. Most of the ciabatta bread's um, hard anyway. But uh, well, after this, we gotta start doing the chicken and uh, bread the chicken and, uh, and fry that, do that outside. All right. 
All right, this is our setup I got right now. That's my new Yukon Camp Chef stove. And I got my uh, Blackstone over there. And uh, I got some new cast iron I'll show in another video. But uh, we'll get started here. I get the heat on the oil and show you how I bread it. All right. Got the Camp Chef going here. It looks like it's working good. It's first time. Really nice. They had the Explorer at um, at uh, Camping World in the Yukon. I, I found it at um, Walmart. And I like this one a lot better. And uh, that's where when we go camping. We just got back from our long trip. So, uh, which we have videos coming. Okay, now we're gonna do our our chicken. Egg wash. And Italian bread crumbs with some Parmesan cheese. Alright, it's going good. I got it about 400 degrees there. Um, yeah, it's about 395, 400. So we'll uh, turn it back on when they're done. Okay, the chicken's done. I'm going to add mozzarella to it and uh, cut the bread. Um, put the sauce on, there's the sauce. And, uh, I cut the bread so um, show you the finished product there's the finished product chicken parm sandwiches with fries all right